So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song shortened? So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Occasional for edge and entertainment. Hi, Brian Martha here. We might, we might cover three things today. And that is, I might, or am I doing a video that comes out tomorrow? Uh, I'm tired. I had a, I went somewhere yesterday. I'm tired. I hate when I go places and the next day I'm totally drained. Don't you? Um, but anyway, graduation time is hard to deal with, even though, <laughs> not the one graduating, but. People who are around me are graduating. <laughs> so, yeah. It's tiring. So, yeah. Anyway. Today, we're talking about two... Um, three things, probably. Like I said, maybe two. It depends how long this video is. One. Let's get... Let's do Titans first. Then we'll do Flash. Then we'll do this trailer if I have time. Um, Titans was... All right. There's a few things I had this the episode. This is just the last episode, and um, for the show. But there's a few. It, it wasn't as great as I thought it was gonna be. Like again, Garfield didn't turn into any animals. Yeah, he was pulling wires. He could have bit them. We'd turned into an animal. Um, this is for episode um twelve of Titans, season four, and. Um, I did like the flashback where they're um, like having Christmas together. That part was sweet um, when Corey disappeared. Um, but they didn't keep Trigon there for very long. He was like there for like like like, like three minutes. That's all like it's like how long they could afford him. And, and um, then Sebastian killed him right away. And. Um, I did like the fact that Crypto brought back um, Connor by licking him. That's what I thought of it. And and but yeah, it's not the best finale, but it's fine. I just really wish there was more in it. I think everybody did a great job. Tim did a great job fighting against um, Sebastian. So did and Corey. Um, um, finally he was allowed to kill him. Uh, and, but, you know, Dick, he was totally against it. But, and then we got to see Connor fly the very end, but, yeah. So, that's basically it. I think it was fine, it was a fine episode. Um, both, mostly, like, Sebastian was brought back Trigon just to take his heart and have his power and stuff like that. And then try to collapse the, um, the Earth into Trigon. And, and, like, make them both explode, basically. And, in fact, that would kill Sebastian. But I guess, he, he I don't know. <laughs> and he killed, like, pretty much everybody at Star Labs, but, um... Tim's boyfriend. So everything like it was fine. I'd probably say this is probably like a, um I could totally understand why they didn't use um probably Beast Boy because they had to use a lot of the money budget on um making the Earth hit they try making the Earth move and stuff like that and on all the blood and stuff like that and then Trigon so yeah, that that's a lot of um, money. So I guess that's probably why they didn't have him turn any animals. But yeah. 
So, I'm probably, I still really wish they did for one last time. Because this is the last chance for him to transform into like a T-Rex or something. But no, oh, no, they can only happen in see. They can only happen in animation. Darn you! So, okay. Probably gonna give. So I'm probably gonna give this one like a seven out of ten for the Titans. The last episode. So yeah. And for um the Flash, um episode. 11 of season 9. This one was, I guess, Barry's day off because he didn't show up to the very end. Um, because but, the, um, we had to have a whole entire episode where it's basically a horror episode in my eyes because, man, Keon in this episode was scary as hell! Man! She turned Mark into dust. Then she turned, turned those people into plant people. I swear she's Pamela Isley. <laughs> like I know, like the whole other sand thing doesn't make sense. But more, it's more like something that, like I don't know. Um, you see some like Avatar, like a very scary version of Avatar: the Last Airbender. <laughs> like. You literally watched him turn into dust. It's like a horror movie. Then you watch him turn back into dust from regular human, so, so they can get the crystal out. Can't you just cut off his arm? Then we got to watch um, Eddie pull the bullet out of his chest to prove that that was Eddie, cause he forgot who he was, cause he was dead. For who knows how long I forgot, <laughs> like nine or ten years. So yeah, <laughs> and um, <laughs> so yeah, I was like screaming, like, and how did Mark get infected by the blue, but the blue diamond? Where did I don't remember him picking it up. So like, did he just show up there the way he was? Basically, and like pick it up off screen. I hate when that happens. Um, because like I was so confused during it. Maybe because I was so tired. But I think um this episode's fine. Mostly um Eddie's wandering around. I'm calling him Eddie now since he said he basically said he was Eddie. Um, because the negative force is trying to get him to like go after Iris and stuff like that, but he won't listen. And um. Mark is attacking them. All everyone there, and um, I guess this is probably happened the same exact day that Barry's um, fighting with them in the other um, time time the other time thing. That's why he's not there because he's still doing the other one, and so they actually happen the same exact time. And um, Iris ends up going to labor during this. Uh, at the end of this lap, so she's afraid that Barry won't be there for it, and now he might not be. And like, where is the doctor in the middle of the like at the end of the episode? Where is the doctor? I had to want like, why is the doctor not there? She went to labor. They don't show a doctor in the room, like checking her if she's okay or not. Like, I I find that I like the scene or not, but where is the doctor? <laughs> it was sweet. But why is the doctor not there? <laughs> so. Give me a doctor! Bring in Dr. House if you have to! <laughs> but it's one a doctor! Somebody's in labor! <laughs> so. I found the scene nice where, um, where Barry is having to talk about his closure about both his parents being dead and him being now he's finally okay with it and it's been at iris but still she just went into labor and no doctor in the room i have to say that <laughs> and um how keon was like looked bad like scared upon his mom um, the the negative force made her leave and again scary Two scenes first scary. Scary. 
So I have to say, I'm probably going to give this one like a um, 8 out of 10. It's still a good episode. Scary. <laughs> but yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Is When is, um... So let me see. I got I have plenty of time. So let me get um the video up, the trailer up. We're probably gonna react. So this is the behind the scenes for um the Marvel show that comes out in June. And this might be the last Marvel show for a while because of the way the strike is going. So let's watch um this. Ready? Ah! When we start Secret Invasion, Nick Fury has been off planet. And Maria Hill has just really been trying to, you know, maintain order. But this current threat is getting out of control. Five global terrorist strikes within the past year. Each one claimed by a different group. Business as usual. It's a lot cheaper this What they want you to think. Oh, Nick comes back before, having lost or part of, um, whatever power he had before. So there. we try and solve no things without being too yeah. superhuman. Being spies. Think, should be? Maybe. Oh, that scene looks like the not right now. We get to third. jump right. into Nick Fury's world, which is very spy versus spy. The yeah, not right now. the locations, the way it feels, the way it's written. It's a thriller. Fury, we gotta be very careful now. I had to pinch myself many mornings when I would step on set with Olivia Coleman, Sam Jackson, Don Cheadle, Amelia Clark, Ben Mendelsohn, Kingsley Benedict. I mean, really, some of my really favorite really actors die. in the world. Alone at last. After every Marvel film released, I would phone my agent and say, please, can I be in a Marvel thing? I never imagined it would happen. What makes you think you can get him to speak? Oh, I can be quite persuasive. Looking at the MCU through these different lenses, you get to see all these different sides of the characters. So we get to really sort of dig into who they are. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about it? This idea of, of who can you trust, that is really the heart of the show. You could be talking to somebody you have a very close relationship with, and then you find out that that's not who you thought it was. It becomes sort of a cat and mouse game that we, we build toward to the end of the show. You get it, there's a bunch of them. It, and you can't predict it, it, and you can't fathom it until it Our happens. Almost that shot took me too. Now he takes it even when I'm out. I'm here. Even when I'm out. Even when I'm out. Okay, that's basically it. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, we'll see what happens next week for the Flash. And let's go down with, and I'll find out anyone over war with the wider strike. But yep, I'm gonna go watch. Um, I haven't played Jedi yet, and I haven't got. I gonna get Zelda in the mail around the end of the month. So it hasn't even shipped yet because it's coming from Japan. So I'll see you guys later. Like, here and subscribe. And thank you for the people who have come onto the channel uh, recently. Thanks, guys. So, that was a great chat. That was a great behind the scene thing. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Like, favorite, and subscribe. And, bye bye.